Sir Sam Neill, 75, shocked fans when his new memoir, Did I Ever Tell You This?, revealed that the star had just recently recovered from stage 3 blood cancer. However, his book contains far more surprising tales as he reflects on his astounding Hollywood career, particularly the darkness surrounding the late Robin Williams that fans were never privy to before his death. The New Zealand-born star worked alongside Robin on the 1999 film Bicentennial Man, which later became an Oscar-nominated film. The comedian had just won his first Oscar as Best Supporting Actor in the highly acclaimed 1998 film Good Will Hunting and was at the height of his global fame. However, Sir Sam noted that despite it all, the star was inconsolably solitary and deeply depressed. In his book, the Jurassic Park star recalled, he had fame, he was rich, people loved him, great kids, the world was his oyster. He recalled being more sorry for him than I can express, and described Robin as the loneliest man on a lonely planet and the saddest person I ever met. This wasn't to say that the acclaimed comedian was entirely different to the public persona fans grew to adore. Sir Sam admitted they had great chats on set, adding, we would talk about this and that, sometimes even about the work we were about to do. He was irresistibly, outrageously, irrepressibly, gigantically funny. He explained that there was a sense of dark space inside Robin, but as soon as he stepped into the public eye he was on. Sir Sam continued, funny stuff just poured out of him. And everybody was in stitches, and when everybody was in stitches, you could see Robin was happy. Robin tragically died by suicide in late 2014 at the age of 63, just three months after he was incorrectly diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. After his death, it was revealed that the star was actually suffering from Lewy body dementia, a devastating form of the disease that sees patients dying five to seven years after their diagnosis. Don't miss! Lotus Star's wife speaks out as husband and son are feared dead, latest, Katie Holmes reacts to claims Tom Cruise is estranged from daughter, latest, Immer Day legs it for Mackenzie Boyd after he finally confesses, latest, Sir Sam's memoir shocked fans with his own health revelations, as he starts the book with, the thing is, I'm crook. Possibly dying. I may have to speed this up. He revealed he had first noticed he had swollen glands while doing publicity for Jurassic World Dominion in March last year. Soon after the actor was diagnosed with angioimmunoblastic T-cell lymphoma. He underwent chemotherapy treatment, which started to fail, but has now embarked on a new chemotherapy drug which he will continue to receive monthly for the rest of his life. The actor is now cancer-free and has emphasized that his book is not a cancer memoir, but rather that his illness is just a spiral thread throughout his story.